We've already learned how to name ionic compounds, but we need to go over the naming conventions for ionic compounds with transition metals because transition metals often have different charges for each element. Let's take a look at iron, which forms cations with a charge of plus two or plus three. Let's look at iron plus two when it combines with the oxygen anion. When we cross the charges, we get Fe2O2, and we know from before that when both of the coefficients are the same, they cancel out, giving us a chemical formula of FeO. Now, how do we say this? We say iron Roman numeral 2 oxide, and you say it that way because the charge of the cation is plus 2. Roman iron Roman numeral 2 oxide. Now, what if we were looking at the iron with the charge of plus 3? When that combines with oxygen, we cross those charges and we get Fe2O3. This will be called iron Roman numeral 3 oxide. The reason being is because the charge of the iron cation is plus 3. So you have an, a cation which can form more than one kind of charge you need to determine what charge it has when you say the name. If it has a charge of plus 2, then you need to say iron 2 oxide. If it has a charge of plus 3, you need to say iron 3 oxide. Next, let's look at copper, which forms cations of charge of plus 1 and plus 2. Now, let's start with the plus 2 cation, combining with chlorine. When you cross the charges, we get CuCl2. Now we write this, or we say this as copper 2 chloride because the charge of the cation is plus 2. Now let's look at the copper which is a charge of plus 1. When that combines with chlorine, we get CuCl. And we would say that as copper 1 chloride. And we say that because the charge of the cation is plus 1. So whenever there are different charges for the same cation, we need to specify which one it is with Roman numerals in the name. 